Yeah, but maybe, maybe, maybe this gonna help about five people. I, this message only helped about two. I only came to help two people, so the rest of y'all doesn't got to go for what you know. All right. So, so she, she, she loses the right and have the right at the same time. So she in conflict. I'm, I, I'm looking at something that I grew inside of me, a gift that God has given me. I'm looking at it in a state, and I can't help it. And I can't be emotional at the same time. Because I understand that the miracle is far more greater than my emotions. It's far more greater than my rights. Oh, my goodness. It's far more greater than me feeling tired. Come on. And I got the right to be tired. I wish I had folk in here to understand what I'm talking about. I got the right to be tired. I got the right to be emotional. I got the right to be mad. But the miracle is greater than it. Oh, my goodness. So let me go through some other points. Uh, First point is faith is the key in this season. Somebody say faith is the key in this season. Uh, There are things that will approach you in this season that might have already approached you in this season that may look worse than what it really is. I said there are things that will approach you in this season that might have already approached you in this season. Watch this. That look better or look worse than what they really are. Uh, okay, so the first thing Jesus said to the ruler of the synagogue is he said what? Be not afraid, only believe. Uh, now he didn't even know how bad the situation was. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. He didn't even know how bad the situation was, but all he knew is I had to, watch this, I got to attach my belief, I got to attach my situation to the faith. Yes, yes. Oh, goodness have mercy. Okay, second thing. I hope you're writing these points down. Watch this. The note takers are the money makers. Okay? So I hope you're writing this stuff down. This is going to help you. Second thing is, you got to be careful who you take with you into trying situations. Uh, you got to be careful. Listen, Boo Boo, Nene and them can't come this time. No, no. No, no. Pee Wee and them can't come this time. Now, I know they used to ride or die with you, you know, you know. Uh, come on here, all right? You know, some of y'all went always say, hello? Come on. So I know they used to ride and die with you, but right now in this trying situation, they can't roll with you. Now watch this. Let me tell you the story real quick, and then I'm going to help you out. We're going to go. I'm going to preach, and we're going we're gonna to get out of here. I lost my phone. I was playing with, with my niece, Trinity. I lost my phone, right? And, uh, you know, good thing about having iPhones is you got the thing called Find My iPhone, right? So I, I, um, I didn't realize I lost it. I went to the store. Went to the store, I looked in the car, went in the car, went everywhere else, couldn't find it. So I said, I got to track the phone, okay, because this is my iPhone, praise him. And my wife wasn't going to let me get another one, so I had to track my iPhone, amen. When you get married, you know, you realize you got certain rights, hey, and you lose certain rights, right? How long? Because married people shout hallelujah. hallelujah. All right, you know what I'm talking about, okay. All right, see, we got to think, we got to live it. Hey, you know, if anything is under $100, you ain't got to act. But if it's over $100, you better text me or something, Okay. I know that. See, married folk know what I'm talking about, right? All right. Yeah, you know, you got certain rights. You better come on here. If you want to be married, you better take notes. All right. Uh, so listen. So I had to track my iPhone. So I tracked it, and I found out that somebody had stolen it, but they was only around the corner. Right. So I. So you know, I got these friends that they mount up in any situation. In any situation. Come on. My wife, my wife and her sisters used to have this call, say, chitty, chitty, bang, bang. That means that anything was getting ready to happen. You don't ask no questions. You just show up, right? So they didn't ask no questions. They just loaded up the car. We had sticks, everything, because we didn't know what we were about to get into. All we knew was we, after we came out of here, we was going to retrieve our iPhone. Hallelujah. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on, somebody. You got friends that you don't care what the situation may be, but after we come out of this, we're going to get what we came here to get. Come on. Y'all want to act. Y'all want to act all Y'all want to act sedity on me because you didn't move to the suburbs. Don't forget you were down there on 55. Come on here, somebody. Y'all, they moved on up, went to the suburbs. Now y'all want to act all sedity. I don't know what he's talking about. Come on. You know when you were growing up in the hood, you just rolled out. Got on your bikes. Come on, somebody. Got your skates. Come on, somebody. You rolled out. For some of you who couldn't afford that, you just walked down the street. Come on. Jesus. So we rolled up in the car and rolled up on the dude. 
Now, I ain't going to tell you who was driving the car. Amen. But he saved the day. Hallelujah. Huh? I ain't going to tell you who was driving the car. Huh? All I know, he could prophesy that he was driving that car. And dri- Listen, drove on the opposite side of the street. Come on here. Drove up on the sidewalk to take the phone from the man. Didn't ask no question. He said, you, you got an iPhone? The guy tried to say something. He snatched the phone out of his hand. I said, hey, all my friends ain't saved. Hallelujah. It's okay. Preachers, you better get you some friends that'll pop the trunk. Not just friends. Some of them don't need to be saved. I don't need to be saved. Hallelujah. But guess what? In certain situations, you can't take folk like that. Ooh, did you hear what I said? Some stuff you can't fight in the natural. You got to have some tongue talking. Come on, prophesying, praying for. Come on, am I helping somebody in here? Because they got to understand that they got to see the situation like I see it. Ooh, which brings me to my next point. You got to assess the situation and see it like how God see it. When Jesus walked in the room, he said, what are y'all crying about? She ain't dead, she asleep. I had a problem with the text. I had a problem with the text. Yeah, I got a problem. I said, wait a minute. This girl dead. Jesus, why would you say that she's asleep and not dead? Watch this. Because if I proclaim the situation to be better, it'll line up with what I saw. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. If I say the situation is like this, the situation will line up to what I said. So he said I had to say that she was asleep. Because it's easy to wake somebody up when they sleep. Did you hear what I said? It's easy to wake somebody up when they sleep. I wish I had some folk in here. That, that's enough to just give God some praise. Well, come on. He going to take the situation that's better than what it is. Uh, next point. I hope you're writing these points down. Next point. I'm preaching already. I'm preaching better than y'all responding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next point is laughter is a sign that I'm at the, I'm at the edge of a breakthrough. Right. Yeah. Watch this. After he accessed the situation and told them that she was asleep, they laughed. I said, wait a minute, why would they laugh? You Jesus. You almighty. Why would they laugh? You just healed the woman with this your blood. Why would they laugh? He said, because they did not perceive that they were at the edge of a breakthrough. Wow. <sighs> Laughter denotes that I'm at the edge of a breakthrough. You ever, you ever told somebody something that they laughed at you because they just couldn't believe that God was going to do that for you? Yeah. My friends would tell me, bless his heart. I said, well, he'd say, when you get your first car, you're going to get a hoopty. I said, the devil is a lie. <laughs> and my first car won the hoopty. Come on, I wish I had some folk in here. That believe God. Come on, somebody. You need some folk around you that's going to believe God like you believe. I got crazy faith. I wish I had some folk in here that got crazy faith that could believe God in any and every situation. Come on, somebody. So laughter is a sign. Let them laugh at you. Come on, somebody. Let them laugh. Ha, ha. Laugh with them. Come on. But you just know where them Negroes be. Okay? He who laughed first, laugh last, laugh first, laugh not as funny. Come on. Next point. Somebody say next point. All it's going to take in this season is one word. I wish I had folk in here. Y'all, y'all not as excited as I thought y'all was when I was preparing for it. All it's going to take in this season is one word. Jesus said one word. He said arise. All it's going to take in this season is one word. Come on, somebody. My next miracle is contingent upon one word. Come on, somebody. My next breakthrough is contingent upon one word. All I need is one word. Come on, somebody. All I need is one word to change my status, to change my situation, to get me financed, come on, to bless me. All he needed to say is healed and my body lines up. All he needed to say is delivered and my folks, my friends come out of whatever they in. All I need is one word. Come on, all you need is one word, go. Come on, all you need is one word, blessed. All you need is one word, yes. All you need is one word, blessed. Come on, somebody. All you need is one word. Do you believe that all it takes is one word? Preach, preach, preach. Come on, all you got to do is say go. Go. And everything lines up. Come on, somebody. 
All he got to do is say yes, and everything lines up. Come on, somebody. All he got to do is say wealthy, and everything will line up. All he got to do is say healed, and your body will line up. All he got to do is give you one word. next point is God allowed this situation so that other people could be amazed. God allowed this situation so that other people can be amazed. He put you in a hospital so other folks can see you get out. Come on, he made your credit score so low so when you got that car, all folks can say it's only God can do it. Come on, somebody. I wish I had some folk in here that just, I, I'm in a situation to create amazement. Come on, somebody. I'm in a situation so folks can be amazed. Listen. Last point. Is when it happened, you won't be able to tell how it happened. I received that. Ooh. Thank you, Jesus. That's a word. You know, my God. I wish I had Thank broken pieces. Jesus. When I get some unexpected money in my account, I don't go and try to figure out how it happened. There it is. Hello? That's all I ain't got. Listen. Uh, 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 so, so, come on. I don't go and try to figure out where it came from. Come on, somebody. Because once it hit my account, it belonged to me. Come on. The banks fix it. Y'all fix all that other stuff. But once it hit my account, it belongs to... Come. I ain't going to try to be expected gadget and private eye. And it's mine. Sherlock Holmes. Well, where did this come from? It came from Jesus. Thank you. Uh, but listen, watch this, watch this, watch this. Those notes help you. Watch this. So she understood. Let me go back to this text. She understood that my miracle, the miracle for the house, is more important than any, ever, than any other thing going on. Come on, somebody. I got to create a space. Somebody say create a space. I got to create a space for Jesus to move. Let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. Pastors, leaders, anybody to do a service? Watch this. Emotions can tank the space. You better say that again. Emotions can, can tank the space. Now I'm saying this because you know us African American folks, that's what we thrive off emotions. Hello? Come on, somebody. Especially in this generation. This is one of the emotional generations I've ever been in, in my life. They always feel us up that one minute they're happy, one minute they're sad, one minute they're mad at the church. They, they say they're happy. You know, you, don't, you can never tell. I mean, and it all happens within 10 minutes. <laughs> you know, it, you know, ain't a span of 10 years. It's 10 minutes. Come on, somebody. I just saw you was happy. Yeah, they did something to me. I'm mad now, you know. And so emotions, watch this. Emotions can tank the atmosphere. It can stagnate miracles. And so she understood that if God's going to perform this miracle. If Jesus is going to perform this miracle. I got to make sure my atmosphere is clean. I got to make sure that my atmosphere is ripe and ready for him to move. That's good. That's she good. had to create. Somebody say create a space. A she space. had to build the house within the house. Yes, yes. My God. My God. Ooh, my God. Did you hear this? So she had to accept what Jesus said. She had to get her emotion out the way. She had to get with the fact that her name ain't going to be mentioned. But all she understood is after this, the miracle could be performed. I wish I had folks in here. See, see, watch this. See, watch this. Intercessors, folks is praying. It's not about whether you get recognition or not. It's about did I complete the assignment. It's about did the miracle happen for the assignment. Come on, somebody. Did I get the miracle done? Come on, somebody. I don't care if they say thank you. My thank you has come from when the miracle get done. See, happen. watch this. Leaders, when you're sitting on the front row, now, I don't say, let me not say sitting on the front row. I don't want to say that. That's probably going to attack a folk. I don't want to say, won't preach from a place of attack. I don't want to say that. That's, <laughs> say, scratch that out the way. But, <laughs> right, I sit on the front row too. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, let's change, rewind. Leaders, <laughs> when you're in your right place, watch this. When you're praying and interceding, come on somebody, when you're fasting, and whether they say thank you or not, 
Come on, somebody. As long as the miracle happened. The Bible says, and the children shall answer the enemy at the gate. Come on, you got to know when your leader is supposed to be resting and you're supposed to be fighting. I wish I had folk in here. See, see, so, you see, watch this. The reason why our leader's getting attacked, uh, the reason why the head is getting attacked is because he's fighting. Because the children ain't answering the enemy. Come on, son, I wish I had folk in here. Come on, I wish I had some children here that's ready to answer the enemy. Come on, at the gate. I'm going to let my leader rest while I fight. You rest, we going to fight. Ain't that what they told David? You too old to go out here. Let me go out here. So folks getting attacked, leaders getting attacked, not, not just ours, all over. This is everywhere. Getting attacked because there's no children to answer the enemy. Watch this. If you read this in Judges, I'm getting ready to go. If you read this in Judges, uh, uh, um, Samson, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Couldn't, you know, when you're going too fast, you just slow down. Somebody say, slow down, prophet. Okay. Samson was able to go into the Philistine country, take the gates, go into the country, and they were plotting to kill him. He was able to come out the country, take the gates, and, and take them as a trophy. Why? Because there was no children to answer the enemy. Wow. If you read in, you read in Judges, I believe it's the 16th chapter. Oh, he was able to do that. Why? Because there was nobody to answer the enemy. And let me tell you something. Ain't no devil too big. Ain't no, did you hear what I said? Ain't no devil too big for me not to answer. Come on. That's right. That's right. Greater see, watch this. See, see, somewhat, you know, that's why God ain't, ain't cut off that thug in you yet. Come on, somebody. Some of y'all still got some thug in you. Why? Because you got to get gangsta on the enemy. Say, I'm not letting nothing. <laughs> he said, I'm not letting nothing. Watch this. I'm not letting no devil. Come on, somebody. Nothing. Come up and take what we work for. Come on, somebody. What we build. Come on, somebody. What I nurture. Come on, somebody. She said, I can't let nothing take what I nurtured for 12 years. Come on, 12 years of me brushing her hair. Come on, 12 years of me clothing her. Come on, 12 years. I can't let 12 years die. Say it, say it. So I'm going to build this house. I'm going to make sure this house is conducive right. so when he walk in the room, all he can say is get up. Oh my God. When he walk in the room, all he can say is arise. Come on, somebody. When he walk in the room, all he can say is heal. Say it. Say it. You preaching. You preaching. Last point. He said, get us something to eat. You're going to be able to sit and relax when God gets finished with this miracle. Did you hear what I said? You're going to be able to sit and relax when God gets finished with this miracle. You're going to be vacationing while other folks in disarray. You're going to say, that's all right. We got the miracle. Come on, somebody. Uh, I, we don't need your prayers no more. We got the miracle. Come on. You can stop fasting. We got the miracle. Come on, celebrate. We got the miracle. That's it. That's it. That's it. But you got to be willing. Watch this. You got to be willing to set yourself aside. You got to be willing to set yourself aside. Check your egos at the door. <coughs> we a team. Come on, somebody. You got to be willing to lock in with your team and say, let's get this done. And let's relax afterwards. Come on, I wish I had folk in here. Come on. I wish I had folk in here that's, that want to be united. We got to be a united front. Not to say we're not. This is not to say we're not. I'm just giving you the keys to how to get the miracle done. Watch this. God only performs miracles when things are in order. Say it. When things are in order. That's the only way he performs miracles. If you ain't got a miracle in your life, something may be out of order. That's right. That's right. Am I helping somebody in here? Watch this. When, when, when Elisha said, uh, the God shall answer by fire and shall be gone, they just didn't put everything on the altar. That was a certain way. If you read, they just didn't cut things up. You know, I, you know, folks be butchering stuff. Like, you know, folks don't know how to, watch this, folks don't know how to cut cake. They butcher it, you know. And so they just didn't cut the cake any old way. You know, they just, we're going to slice this up. We're going to put this on the altar. We're going to land that. We're going to slam that. We're going to put the water over here. They didn't just do all that. There was a, 
there was things were put in precise order. Because they understood that if God's going to answer by fire, if there's going to be a miracle, come on, a sign or a wonder, things have to be what? In order. Right. And so think, when you don't have miracles, that means things are out of order. Yep, yep. Amen. Am I helping somebody? Now, we don't have that problem here. We, got, we get miracles here. How many miracles are the here? Amen. But I'm talking about, you know, in general. I ain't talking about new hope. I'm talking about in general, praise God. Things are out of order. And so you got to ask yourself. Watch this. This time, I said this before, that this time is troubleshooting time. It should be a time of reset and recalibration and figuring out what we have not done right. That's Am I helping somebody? God has given you time and space. Come on, somebody. To regroup, redo, reset. Come on, recalibrate. That's Come on, good. somebody. To say, listen, we've been doing this thing like this for 50 some years, but it ain't been right. Come on, somebody. And God has winked at us. Come on, he's given us grace. But guess what? He's given us space and time to get it right. What have you made of this space and time? Am I helping somebody? What have you gotten in order? Am I helping somebody? Don't rush to get back. Rush to get right. That'll preach. Preach that. Go. <laughs> preach. Huh? You preach it good. Huh? Rush to get miracles. My Come on. Lord. Rush to get things in order. Am I helping somebody in here? That's good. That's Am I good. helping somebody in here? We got, watch this. We got to take, we got to take what we've learned and apply it. Because you get, not talking about here. But we got, you, you got a relationship with Jesus Christ. And he tell you what he wants you to do. You're just going to do it. Huh? Am I helping somebody? Yeah. And so what is God saying to us? God is saying that I want to perform miracles, but you got to keep fighting. Yeah. you got to fight for the house. And fighting don't mean I just boom, 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 you know, with the dukes and stuff. But i got to watch this, adjust myself. Somebody say adjust myself. i got to adjust myself. i got to regroup, come on, somebody. i got to make sure that I'm in alignment so the miracle can happen. I can't be emotional. Come on, somebody. I can't worry about what they call me. Come on, somebody. Amen. If you still arguing on what they call you, you may not be fit to be a leader. Amen. You ain't ready for prime time. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, fighting for the house Amen. without recognition. I want miracles for the house. Do anybody want miracles for the house? I want the house to be full of miracles. I want what God said for the house to happen. Come on, I want the vision. Watch this. You really know who for the vision when you fight for the vision. Hello? Yeah. Let me tell you this. Let me put, this, put you on pause. Let me put, put, pause the text here. Watch this. Your vision will never come to pass unless your father's vision come to pass first. That's true. That's true. Amen. Amen. Got to know how to serve. Unless your leader's vision come to pass, your vision will never come to pass. Won't nothing never work because you was fit to, to serve. Yep. Amen. Am I helping somebody in here? And so watch this. You got to make sure that the vision of the house get performed first. Uh, that's what fighting for the house is. Yeah. Making sure the vision of the house manifests. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Making sure the load of the house manifests. Come on, somebody. I got to make sure that my chief's vision come to fruition. Yeah. Yeah. Am I helping somebody? Good. Then not my vision will come to pass. But until then, I got to make sure his vision. Come on, somebody. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Now watch this. On that side, one thing the Lord, I was, uh, as I was preparing for this, one thing the Lord did say to me is, we have been in a place, or some of us have been in places where we have been unappreciated. It's okay to get honest. God, I did all that. And they still talked about me. God, I did all that. And they still overlooked me. God, I did all that. And they still didn't appreciate it. I sold, I came, opened the doors, closed the doors, and I still, come on, let me say this to you. You passed the loyalty test. Let me say this, and I know this because I, I, I passed it. There come seasons in your life where God will begin to test your loyalty. It's okay. You can preach, pray, and prophesy. You can heal the sick, raise the dead, but are you faithful? That's good. Can you stand this rebuke and not good. quit? That's good. Or your heart don't quit. See, watch this. Most of us are still working, but our heart quit a long time ago. 
I know. I was there. I passed the test. He tested me. And so watch this. On behalf of those pastors that overlooked you, abused you, wore you out, I say we're sorry. For the times where you sacrificed your life and gave the ministries and didn't get anything in return, we say sorry. I realized something, that a lot of leaders are broken because no one says sorry. Because watch this, leaders, we ain't perfect. Pastors, we ain't perfect. Oh, no. We make mistakes. But no one actually says sorry for the mistakes. See, a sorry, a sorry will clean away years of anger and pain. Amen. When you just acknowledge the fact that you did it. I know you ain't perfect. That's good. But I want to know, did you know that you hurt me? And so I realized that. And so, God, we thank you. God, we thank you. We thank you for your leaders that you've given us that have been sacrificial. Work. Without y'all, the work couldn't be done. Ministry means people. If you don't have people, you, it's, it's going to be a struggle to do ministry. And so what I'm telling you is keep fighting. Fight until the miracle happens. Fight until the breakthrough happens. Fight hurt. Do it scared. That's what my uncle used to say. Apostle Robert Battle. Do it scared. Do it scared. Never understood it until I had to do it scared. What am I telling you? Keep fighting. Come on, lift your hands and worship. Lift your hands and worship. Keep fighting. Let me say this to you. Your, your position in fighting should always be like this. Moses, the children of Israel kept fighting when Moses' arms were still up. They only lost or was losing when Moses let his arms down. What is my posture of fighting? Worship is my posture of fighting. Come on. I don't care what it looked like. I don't care what it feel like. As long as worship is my posture, we're going to get this miracle done. Come on, somebody. As long as we do it corporate. Somebody say corporately. As long as we do it corporately, we're going to get this job done. Come on, somebody. Amen. There'll be no more attacks as long as we do it corporately. Oh, did you hear? There will be no more attacks as long as we do it corporately. Come on. Can't nothing come in and infiltrate what we built up as long as we do it corporately. Come on, somebody. I'm not going to let your arm fall. You don't let my arm fall. Come on. We're going to hold it up together, tired and all. Come on, somebody. We're going to hold it up together, tired and all. I know you're tired, but come on. You got a couple more strength in you. Come on. I'm going to help you. Come on. I'm going to hold yours up while you hold mine's up. Nothing shall come in. I decree and there will be no more tax. Come on, I decree and there will be no more tax. I'm mad. I'm mad at the enemy. He thought he had enough guts to try to take my chief out. I'm mad. Me too. I'm going after him. Full force. Who going with me? Come on, who going? I'm going after him full force. I'm going to get some trophies. And I'm going to bring out whoever else is there too. Come on, somebody. I'm coming out with some trophies. Come on, somebody. I wish I had some folk in here that's ready, armed, and dated. We come on, we riding out in the truck. Come on, somebody. I'm going to get what belongs to us. And whoever else want to come out, I'm going to get them too. Come on, lift your hands and worship. Come on, lift your hands and worship. Hallelujah, come on, lift your hands and worship. Yes. Let's get the miracle done, because we are under an open heaven. Come on. We are under an open heaven. Hallelujah. Where his power yeah. shall overflow. Where the broken shall be made whole. Let's work together, because we are under. An open heaven. Let's get the miracle done because we are under an open heaven. We are under an 
I feel just, I feel some people that's been under a season of heavy dreaming. Who is that? Who is that? A season of heavy dreaming. Oh, that's me. Tell you what I heard God say. God said this, I hear God say that there are instructions coming in these dreams. I hear God say, would you take it seriously? Write it down. I know Stephanie called me when I was at work, praise him. But she said, I got five. I said, Lord, you. Ooh, see, I seven. Lord Jesus, help me. Uh, but pay close attention to your dreams, what I hear God say, because there are instructions coming. Instructions for the next season, that's what I hear God say. God said, I'm prepping you and preparing you. Pay very close attention to your dreams. Write them down, write them down, write them down. Come on, give God some praise. Come on, give God some praise. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Come on, give God some praise like you expect something to happen. I don't know, come on, come on, put some strength on it. Come on, put some strength on it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, put some strength on it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, come on. Let's worship him corporately. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, begin to tell him who he is. Come on, God, you're amazing. Come on, God, we love you. Come on, God, you're awesome. Come on, begin to tell him. Come on, you're the skip in my step. Come on, you're the reason I get up in the morning. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, come on, that's it, come on. We got to do this thing together. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, let the spirit of worship come in this place. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, come on. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, he under the old son of Ramahaya. Come on. Shay Yanamando Robo Saya. Come on. Come on, let the glory flow. Come on. Shay Yanamando Robo Saya. We wait for you. There's a river flowing. Come on, let the worship in this place. Come on, come on. Let flow. Come on, everybody should be on their feet. Come on, let the worship come on in this place. There's a river. Have your way. Flowing. Signs and wonders. There's a Flowing signs and wonders. There's a river. There's a river of miracles flowing. There's a river. A river of miracles flowing. Come on, worship him. There's a river. There's a river. There's a miracles flowing. Flowing. There's a river. There's a river of miracles. Come on, lift your hands. Come on, come on, come on. You waiting on the next move. God, I just need you right here. Come on. I need you right here. Come on, I need you right here. Flowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. There's a river. A healing that is flowing. There's a river. Come on. Of angels. Yeah. That they're flowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. There's a river. Of angels flowing. Yeah, come on, worship him. Come on. A breakthrough flowing. There's a river. A breakthrough flowing. Hey. There's a river. A peace that is flowing. There's a river of joy. Listen, I really just felt in my spirit the healing anointing just dropped. Now, I know we can't touch nobody, but God, God can heal without touch. Hallelujah. Amen. I want anybody any pain, just wave your hand at me if you're in pain. All right. I know. Oh, 
Okay, we're going to release it to you. Hana and Amasha, we're going to release it to you. Come on, who, who's in pain? Wave your hand at me if you're in pain. All right. All right, lift your hands. I'm going to release it to you. Ready? One, two, three, bang. That's it. Bang. Thank you for it. Thank you for it. In the name of Jesus. Boom. That's it. Boom. Thank you for it. Thank you for it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your healing. Come on. Come on. There's a river of healing flowing. Come on. There's a river of healing. Come on. It's that flowing. That's right. There's a river of healing. Come on. That is flowing. There's a river. There's a river of healing. That is flowing. My brother right here. What's your name? Of healing. I'm sorry. What's your name? David. David. I like that. I like David. Hallelujah. Here's what I hear God say to you. God said that this is a season for you of catch up. You've been behind schedule in some areas. Uh, some areas the Lord has revealed to you or you know about, but some areas you don't know about. But God said, I have created space for you to catch up, is what I hear God say. I don't know if you know it or not, but it's a preacher call in your life. It's a preacher call in your life. But I see, especially I see you around like young men, like men from the ages of 18 to like 30, that area. I see you kind of pouring into men in that area. But God said this is season for you to catch up. You get ready to catch up as well. You get ready to make some progress, uh, especially in some area of, of finances is what I hear God say, and some other areas uh, relationship-wise. I don't know what your relationship with your family or some family members, but God said he's giving you time and space to get those relationships together. Because I hear God say he's concerned about the things that you're concerned about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some things that are on your heart, weighing on your heart, that has even caused stress is what I hear God say. I don't even know, do, do heart conditions run in your family? Yeah, I see that. I see that only. But here's what, here's what I hear God say. God said, you will not die from a heart attack. Hallelujah. God said, I'm going to heal your body. Because one thing that's connected to your health is stress. I see that. That's really connected to your health is stress. So God said, he's going to alleviate some of the stress. which is going to alleviate some of the health problems, what I hear God say. So God said, get ready. This is a new season for you. It's a new beginning and a new day for you. God said, even in the midst of this quarantine, it's a new day for you. That's the word, Lord, to you. I hope that makes sense. Come on, give God some praise. Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, Smith, y'all was on my heart this morning. Not because I baked some cake. Y'all was on my heart this morning. Here's what I hear God say. God said, I'm paying y'all for old sacrifice. <laughs> old sacrifice is what I hear God say old uncompensated sacrifice I'm paying y'all for I mm. prophesy this to y'all that y'all will never have a, old, a used car I don't even know what that means to y'all but God said y'all will never have a used car from this day on every car you got will, will be brand new is what I hear God say every car you desire will be brand new and I hear God say y'all get ready to move <laughs> Like, literally, I, God took me, and I'm not being deep and spooky, but he took me to my job. And in my job, in the front, there's a whole bunch of boxes. And God said, get ready to move. I don't know if y'all looking, where y'all looking at, or if you, but I hear God say, stop worried about price. Some, one, okay, let me say, one of y'all got faith. We're going we, we gonna to do this. The other one, like, but we need to, we got this numbers. And so God said, I'm going to take that budget and blow it out the way. Because God said, I'm about to show y'all favor. I'm about to compensate y'all. That's what the hit God say. Folks going to say, how did y'all get this? All you're going to say is, only God. Only God. Only God. I hear God say, you will never have a broke day. You'll have some days that's lean, but you'll never have some broke days. You have some days where you can't you can't shop till next week, but you'll never have a broke day. Because God said, I owe y'all. And I'm coming to pay my debt. Come on, lift your hands. Come on, give God some praise. Come on, you ought to be There's shouting like God spoke to you. A miracle. Come on, hallelujah, hallelujah. There's a river. Come on, hallelujah. Blessings that are flowing. Listen. Listen. I prophesy to anybody that want to move. I pro lift your hands if that's you. If you want to move, I prophesy that God make ways, multiple ways. 
I prophesy you have options. Woo! I prophesy you have options. You can say either I want this or I want that one. I prophesy you have options. I prophesy they pay for closing costs. Yeah. I, I wish you had. I wish you get. I wish you get it. Come on, I prophesy they pay for closing costs. Come on, I prophesy they just get your favor. Say we want you to have this. Come on, it's flowing. Hey, watch this. I prophesy you in the neighborhood you want to be in. I see some folks in gated communities. Come on, somebody. Come on, I prophesied, I prophesied, I prophesied. I don't know who this is, but I prophesied some new furniture. I don't know who that is. Who wanted some new furniture? I prophesied some new furniture. And I ain't talking about no, no renaissance furniture. Come on. I'm talking about the value city furniture. Lazy boy, come on. I don't know who that is. Ooh, I, I just felt that in the spirit. Come on, new furniture. A new TV, I don't know who that is. Of new Ooh. that's flowing. Come on, I, listen. I, you know, I don't really like Apostle Rich, you could attest to this. When folk when prophets say, I'll prophesy how the cars. I say, Well, I do. They told me to, so I'm gonna keep prophesying because they come to pass, don't they? Hallelujah. Come on, I prophesy. I, I prophesy credit scores. Come on. They're gonna go up. Come on. Come on, I prophesy that. I prophesy, I prophesy. I prophesy, I prophesy, I prophesy debts to be canceled. I prophesy, I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, you ought to just step in this. Come on, come on, I prophesy. After this quarantine, you'll be able to buy anything with no problem. Come on, I prophesy. Hey, I prophesy everything being your favor. Houses, the housing market will be in your favor. Come on, I prophesy. I prophesy new cars. Ooh, I prophesy new cars. I prophesy. Who is that? Want a new car? I prophesy. Come on. I prophesy no interest. Come on. I prophesy. Ooh, come on. I wish you'll catch this. Come on. Oh, he's gonna do it. Come on. Give God some praise. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. For, for the for the business owners, I prophesy high clientele, expensive clientele. Yeah, 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 yeah. Expensive clientele. I prophesy contracts. Come on, I'm, who is that? I prophesy contracts. Lord, I, I keep prophesying this to you because the Lord keep telling me to prophesy to it. But I see major corporations. I'm talking major corporations. They say, listen, we got a company partner. We want you to do this. And I hear God say, stop giving the people a break. Stop giving the people a break. I hear God say, charge them for everything. Charge them for the spoons you use. Come on. I hear God say, I see you. I, I see you teaming up with somebody. Watch this. And, and what I mean by teaming up, I see them opening the door for you. They ain't gonna want nothing from you, but I see them opening the door for you. That's gonna get you on a, on a larger platform. I see them literally open the door for you. And I hear God say, when they open it, you run through it. Because God said, they gonna, God said, this is his way of, of rewarding you. But I hear God say, they not gonna want nothing. So watch this, God said, you know it's the right person. When they say, we just want you to walk in this door, we don't want nothing in return. Whew. That's what I heard God say. Come on, lift your hands. Come on, lift your hands. Come on, lift your hands. Come on, lift. Come on. Listen, let me tell you something. God don't do nothing small. That's bigger. That's. Come on. God don't do nothing small. Everything He do is big. Come on. Do anybody need God to do something big? Come on, just blow up in my life. Come on, blow, just do something big in my life. That's flowing. Apostle Rachel. I heard God say this. He said, the people are still coming. I'm still sending the people. He said, even if, he said, you might say, God, we've been through a quarantine. I don't know what the church is going to do now. He said, I'm still sending the people. He said, I'm going to send them from every direction. He said, I'm going to fill that church up. 
I'm going to fill that church up, the Lord says to me. And God said, when I fill that up, I'm going to have the next one ready. So God said, don't worry about where it's going to be at. But he said, just worry about filling the church up. He said, every time you get, get up and every time it comes in your heart, just say, God, you said you're going to fill the church up. He said, I'm going to fill it up. He said, and I'm going to fill it up with families. Families. I see families, whole families. I'm talking about five, six kids, whole families. God said, I'm going to fill it up with families. That's the word, Lord, to you. I'm going to fill up the church. Come on, lift your hands. Come on, lift your hands. That's flowing. Come on, lift your hands. There's a river, a mega. Sheila May Jean. <laughs> I hear God say, your anointing for intercession has doubled. Ooh. I mean, it literally has doubled. It has doubled. God says the anointing of your life has doubled, period. It has doubled. God said, you've been quiet, but God said, you've been quiet because you've been seeking his face and asking for instructions. And God said, I'm about to release the instructions. What did hear God say? And God said, I'm, I'm doubling what's on you. Ooh. Ooh, just stretch your hand towards her. Father, we release that double. In the name of, we release that right now in the name of Jesus. Ooh. I release double. God's going to anoint y'all like overnight. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. After this, quarantine is over you're going to hear God you're going to see and, and hear some of y'all going to be in high demand let me tell you some of y'all going to be in high demand I see even some of y'all have to have to, to make a decision as far as staying on your secular job or not because you're going to be in high demand God said I'm going to double what's on you Ooh. Ooh, I felt that in my spirit I'm going to double what's on you as if overnight, I'm a double. God said, You think you're anointed. God said, After you come out of this town, folks gonna look at you and say, I don't know what it is, but something about you. I, I hear God say, You're gonna have to keep a bag packed. Eric, you got to keep a bag packed. Because God said, You're gonna be so sought after. Listen, watch this. Let me tell you this. In this after this is over, in this time, we need to hear real prophets. Did you hear what I said? We need to hear real prophets. We want to hear nobody's opinion. Come on, somebody. Nobody's thought. Come on, somebody. nobody's Google. What they didn't Google. We need to hear the word of the Lord. Come on, somebody. I taught a message last week. I said one of the three things that was in the ark was the word. Right? It was the word. We need the word of the Lord. If we're going to get glory back, you need to have a word. Right? Come on, give God some praise. Listen, it's offer time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, it's offer time. Amen. It's offer time in the house of God. Did you enjoy it? Did you get something? To, did you get something? Oh, yeah. Was it good, Steve? Good work. If it was good, if Steve said it was good, it was good. It was excellent. Amen. Listen, get something. Amen. In your hand. All right, listen, if you're on Facebook Live, amen, there's ways to give. You can give by tithely. Uh, for those of you New Hopeites, you can give by tithely, amen. And uh, you'll find New Hope Fellowship uh, in East Cleveland, Ohio, 44112 is our zip code. Hallelujah. Amen. And um, Or you can cash app at dollar sign Joseph Prude. Or you could do PayPal at Joseph L. Prude at yahoo.com. Now, understand that even though it say Joseph Prude, all these proceeds go directly to the church. None of them go to Joseph Prude. Hallelujah. So please, please, please don't be afraid to give. Give. Hallelujah. Give. God has blessed my life. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, I've been blessed even in this time of quarantine. When other folks struggling, God, I've been just breezing on by. Hallelujah. I ain't miss nothing. As you can tell, I ain't miss no meal. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Been able to buy anything I want. Come on. And that's, a, that's a good place because I remember a place I wasn't able to. Amen. So keep giving. Amen. I pray they keep stimulating my account too. Hallelujah. Amen. Double, that's 
You know, let me say this to you. It's mind-boggling. Well, not mind-boggling, but it's amazing that even at a time when when the prophet, when prophet Elijah said that God shall answer my fire, shall be gone. Watch this. One of the way, reasons why God was able to answer as well is because they actually sold water. Now watch this. In that sea, in that time, there was no rain, so they had no water. So they actually sacrificed the very thing that they needed. Did y'all catch that? They actually sacrificed the very thing they needed. They sacrificed water because they needed water. So when you give, God will give you what you need. Come on, I wish I had some folk in here. That's exciting. Amen. So I've just been giving like crazy because I know it may not come in this season, but my next season is going to be good. I said it may not come in this season, but my next season is going to be good. Hallelujah. My ne- no, I'm sorry. My next season is going to be better. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. A better taste that's flowing. That's right. There's a river. A better taste that'll flow in. There's a river. A better taste that'll flow in. There's a river. A better taste. Eric, let me tell you what I heard God say to you. I heard God say that God's going to take you on a journey through the scriptures. And he's going to give you a, a whole nother layer of revelation that's going to blow your mind. I heard God say, you're a student of the word. You know the word. And it's good. But God said, I'm about to give you a whole nother level of revelation that's going to blow your mind. I mean, you're going to read scriptures that you've read before, stories that you've read before, chapters and verses that you've read before. You're going to say, God, I got so much out of this that I've never gotten before. I heard God say, I'm really going to open your eyes to the scriptures. What I hear God say, it's going to blow your mind. You're going to be known as a man of revelation. God said, after you come out of this time, it's going to blow your mind. That's the word Lord to you. Amen. Come on, lift your hands. Come on, lift your hands. I like to prophesy. A river, <laughs> I like to prophesy. Hallelujah. There's a river, a revelation. That's flowing. Stephanie, I see a school of the psalmist. I see a school of the psalmist. I see all, let me tell you what I see right here in the spirit. I see all these people, all these people, and they got your face. And God said, I said, whoa, Lord, what is that? He said, those are her children. She's going to birth in this school. I'm telling you, there's going to be so many people. God says that you train and raise. I hear God say, it's going to be, I told you this before, but I see it like a conservatory. Stephanie's conservatory. I don't know what it's going to be called. But I see it happening. I hear God say, folks, you're going to train folks. Train folks how to sing the song of the Lord. How to navigate through worship. God said, you're going to train them. That's the word of the Lord to you. Come on, lift your hands. Come on, lift your hands. A worship that's flowing. Come on, lift your hands. There's a river a fresh worship yeah. that's flowing. Are you ready to give? There's a river a fresh worship that's flowing. Are you ready to give? There's a river a fresh worship that's flowing. There's Hallelujah. A river, there's a river. Listen, I'm sorry. Amen. We're longing for the day we can worship under one roof again. Hallelujah. But until that time come, there's ways you connect with us. Hallelujah. You connect with us on Facebook Live every Sunday at 1230, every Thursday at 730. Amen. And we also have the New Hope Prayer Connection. How many know we need prayer? Hallelujah. This is the time we need to be praying. Amen. And so we have a way where you connect with us every Wednesday and every Thursday at 5 o'clock a.m. For, for those of you who seek the Lord early, at 5 o'clock a.m., we have every Wednesday, every Thursday, and every Monday and every Friday at 7.30 p.m. And the access code and uh, the conference line number and the access code is listed up there. Amen. So connect with us every Wednesday and every Thursday at 5 o'clock a.m. and every Monday and every Friday at 7.30 p.m. Hallelujah. We're excited for you. Amen. Come on. If you're ready to give, come on up. And just put it on the altar. There's a river of wealth that is flowing. And that's all I see. There's a river 
of great wealth that is flowing yeah there's a river of abundance that's flowing there's a river of abundance that's flowing new contracts new contracts i prophesy are flowing better business deals are coming my way today and they're flowing rich clientele i prophesy rich clientele i prophesy rich clientele i prophesy they're flowing yeah Prophesy money from the north, south, east, the west, and the west. Father, the blessed offering. I'm sorry. Bless the offering, God. Let it meet to the intended purpose. In Jesus' name, I'm Jesus tired. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I just wanted to add to the word um, about the house for the little Johns. I was actually sitting there earlier before he said that, and I looked over and I said, I wonder where they live now because they need to move. And I said, well, Lord, I said, well, Lord, well, how many bedrooms do they need? And the Lord said, everybody should have their own room. So I literally heard that before a, the, the bishop began to prophesy about the house. So I saw y'all with a house and everybody had their own rooms, amen. So we just believe God. I'll be so glad when y'all run in here and tell us we got the house because the house is coming, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Anybody else there? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Prophet Eric. Chef, God wants you in the next month to start thinking in hundreds of millions of dollars. Think about it, write it down, research people that have that kind of money, come to an understanding of what that realm is. He wants to elevate your thinking because there's something coming. And it's almost like you're, you're going to tap into the frequency that's already there that he's sending your way. And this is going to really open up some stuff and transform your life. I hear him say you'll be the first in the family. First in the family. Also, he showed me a flash of some favor with a professional sports team. Like where you're feeding players or something. But... The, but he definitely wants you in that place so you can, so all that can come right across your path. Don't give another discount. Don't do another discount. Set your prices. Matter of fact, your prices are too low right now. And I hear God saying, add a professional fee to whatever your budgeting is. When you write a proposal, start adding a professional fee to it. And God's getting ready to give you a miracle, a real miracle miracle that's going to blow your mind. Uh, this gentleman right here in the black, how you doing, man? Can you stand up real quick? <clears throat> I don't know where you're from. I've never seen you before. But uh, God is in the process of bringing you closer to him. Okay, he's, he, he's, he's about to begin to reveal himself to him and let you understand who he is and how he operates because he desires to bless you. I hear him saying that he's keeping you safe on these streets. I see you going in and out of different apartments and different places on the street and God is keeping you safe on these streets because there is a place for you in his family. All right, so I'm saying this so you can understand it. There's a place for you in his kingdom and so that's one reason why you're, you're here today. There's a setup. There's a setup. I don't know who you are, if you came with anyone, but God's going to continue to order your steps closer and closer and closer because he's trying to get you to turn away from some things. You're on a path right now, and I see God trying to put a hand out and stop you so you can turn away from the direction you're headed into. Uh, this week, every time you think about it, before you go to sleep, if you wake up in the middle of the night, and uh, when you wake up in the morning, just start saying, God, help me. God, help me. God, show me. And he's going to give you the miracle, okay? This brother right here, yep, God said he's going to make it easy for you to let some things go. You have been wounded. You have been disappointed. People have talked about you. Matter of fact, I'm looking at you, and there's some knives on your back right now. 
And so it's drained your energy. You want to fight, but you're kind of tired now. You're like, you know what, I can't take not one more thing. You can stand up, please. But we release the